Hey, I'm Rob with Fast Truck Performance Magazine. I'm here today with Ryan Manson, and uh, we're here to do a little bit of catching up on my 69 Chevy C10, the, uh, the polished turd. And we've got a, an array of low car products to install. You want to talk a little bit about those? Yeah, Rob, let's take a look at what you have here. We're going to be using low cars uh, braided stainless dipsticks. I mean, I think these have been around longer than you and I have combined, right? It's like one of their original products, yeah. yeah. They're tried and true. I think probably 90% of the vehicles out there have them on there, and there's a reason why we're using them. They're, they're fail proof. 4L60E trans mount dipstick and a big block engine mount dipstick that's going to be a little bit of a chore to get in because of our, our headers, but that's going to be, some a, header issues, that's going to be fun to install. That's, that's why they're flexible. Yeah. They also do a uh, firewall mount in both versions, I believe, as well. They do, but I prefer the engine mount yeah, one. Yeah, they're, they're, they're smaller and they take up less room. They're a little easier to get to. Now, how do you fill that uh, dipstick? Well, if you'll notice, this is a problem that I've had all the time. <laughs> If you work in a shop and you ordered low car uh, trans dipsticks, you may notice this, this little void right here. This is their adapter to fill the transmission with because of the special size of the hole. The reason why it's not there is they get lost. And when a new one comes in, somebody, I don't know who, decides to borrow it and it disappears. So when you get these, take that, put it in your pocket, hide it and save yeah. it. Yeah, put it in your glove box, you'll yeah. need it. <laughs> Now, Rob, I know we uh, installed a low car brake pedal in this truck previously. Looks like you got a throttle pedal that's ready to go in. Does that bolt into the stock location? It does. It's 67 to 70, uh, but it's a direct bolt in and it's cable actuated. I'm not using a, a throttle by wire, so which will explain why we're using their cable. So we're also going to be using a low car throttle cable, which, which is we'll awesome. have to poke a hole in the firewall for, no big deal. Not a problem, but what's cool is it's black braided just like the dip. It's going to match all our accessories, yeah. yeah. Also up here, you might notice that there's a brake and a clutch pedal, just to show you guys that if you've got a manual trans in your truck, you can match your brake and clutch pedals to the throttle pedal as well. And those bolt right in. Now, Rob, you mentioned you've got a 4L60E transmission in this, which is not normally what the big blocks came equipped with. No, it didn't. But that leaves us some options for our shifters, right? Tell me a little bit about what you plan on using here from Locar. So we're gonna be using their fairly new uh, automatic electronic sport mode shifter, which is essentially, it's basically just their automatic shifter in regular manual mode, but it also offers a bump shift option. Gotcha. So we're pulling it down into drive, bump it over, and then we're up Absolutely. and down shifting. Yep. Cool. Last but not least, we're using their universal cut to fit spark code wires. What do you like about those? Well, these are kind of cool because they, have an old timey look. They've got the old tracer style, like the old cloth wrapped wires mm -hmm. used to have. But these have new technology inside. These are not the so old solid core RF oh. suppressed type of deal. Oh, they won't screw up your ignition. They won't make your radio buzz. And they'll look pretty cool. Now, Rob, if I want to see more of these tech videos, where do I go? ClassTruckPerformance.com, where you can see reviews on all these products, plus the installs, and a whole lot more.